how do you set up a home butchering area? Today I'm going to show you how we've set ours up. G'day there, I'm Dana from Piwakaka Valley Homestead. I searched on YouTube high and low for instructions on how to set up a decent butchering processing area for large animals. So we are going to be doing some pigs in the weekend and we needed somewhere that we can hang them while we're processing them. So we have actually, we've got this shipping container outside our place and we're going to be doing a lot of the butchering inside there. But we needed somewhere outside that we could skin them and that we could gut them, all that sort of stuff. So we have set up this contraption. So it is simply a board, a big thick board, it's an 8 inch by 2 inch board that we've put up on the top. It's attached to the top of our shipping container. So that is... I want to say eight feet tall it's nice and tall you want it plenty tall in the middle we've put a um a screw and ring and then attached and then up here we've made sure it's well and truly braced with a really strong brace a bracket most of the weight is going to be coming down through it we've got a pulley that we're going to put into that doofer at the top there and then we have a winch that we have bought it it only cost us like I don't know 80 bucks or something so we will have the winch hooked up up through the pulley top and then down to the ground so that we can winch the pig up and then over here we've put this big D attachment we're going to be trying a different way of processing the pigs we're going to try skinning them so to do that you need some way of tying the feet down down low and then to be able to winch them up over a pulley and basically you leave the skin on the ground and winch the body free so we're going to be giving that a go i will try and record it and i'll see if i can show it to you basically to set up this butchering area we have an eight foot high beam with the o-ring attached and a shackle bolt and then we're going to attach a pulley to the bottom of that and we've got a pulley that you can actually take apart so we can thread this part of the winch through it is the plan and then we've got a winch to be able to pull up and the d-ring at the bottom to hopefully tie the skin off too so we're going to winch up through it and then we need a couple of big buckets for the guts which we've got Got a couple of these that we'll use for the, as guts buckets um, and a tarp to put on the ground to try and keep the pig clean if for any reason it falls the other thing we'll have is some running water we'll bring the hose over just in case and we'll set up a little table as well so we've got somewhere to be putting our knives So in here we've got our makeshift chiller and we're going to chill the meat in here for a while until it sets up a bit and then we're going to cut it up. So in here we've got, these are containers of ice and we've filled the chest cavity up with ice as well and obviously a bucket at the bottom to collect it. And then we've got a bunch of fans blowing on it. Conveniently it's also very very cold outside so it's quite cold in here despite it not actually being a proper chiller container. So this will be just fine, that meat will chill off nice and quickly in here. And then we've got ourselves a makeshift metal table. Uh, it's a stainless steel top and a splash guard just in case. So in here we will cut, do all the cutting up later on. So processing day went really really well and uh, we now have a pig in our freezer ready to be turned into ham and bacon and one in my parents freezer for the same reason the upside to my dad having a smoker and a charcuterie uh, all the tools for that is that we can make our own ham and bacon so keep watching we will eventually put together a video for that as well i've also got uh, three big bags of lard from the pigs that i will render and i had someone to ask uh, to show how we do that so when i do do it i'll video it for you uh, the processing setup worked really really well and we did an interesting technique of hitching the pigs up out of their skin which made skinning it really really quick and easy so I'm going to do a video on that as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. We bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food and other homesteading things. We'll see you in the next one.